Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be looking at the Johnny Cash Complete Album Collection. Uh, it's a massive 63 disc box set that came out in 2012. Covers most, but not all, of Johnny Cash's uh, discography. We will check it out, crack it open, and we'll be back in seven seconds. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is the Johnny Cash Complete Columbia Album Collection. Now, this is not a true unboxing because I have already opened this and I've been listening to it for a few years, but I thought that it might be valuable to uh, give people my thoughts on it and tell you what I think about it, what I've, what I've enjoyed out of it. I mean, it's kind of a review. The bottom of the box is a list of everything... Let's see. Everything that's inside. So, got all. Let's see here. Got all 63 discs. Very clearly marked on the bottom of the box. All right, so let's open it up here. Now, the first thing that I do, I've got this guy. This was stuck to the bottom of the box uh, I believe it's a fold out so this tells us everything that we've got here I believe it went something like this so this would have been on the back it tells us everything about it and again the album is on the bottom uh, I always like to keep little things like that I think they have some value to them so again just a list of the contents and here it's just a breakdown of you know this is your cell sheet to try to give you shelf appeal for this I guess it talks about what's in it we've got uh, it's 59 Columbia albums plus two new supplemental compilations making this the all-time hands-down granddaddy of all Johnny Cash Johnny Cash collections period that's probably true there have been some bear family sets uh, that came out over the years, but I believe that this is probably as good as you're going to get as far as one comprehensive collection. But I guess we'll talk more about that later on. Uh, 35 titles in this collection are released on CD for the first time, uh, at least in the U.S. First 19 chronological titles released in mono, mini LP packages, uh, an accompanying book with 5,000 words of liner notes. Um, in addition to the Seminole 59 albums, there are two new compilations, the Singles Plus, which is a two CD, 50 song collection of single sides that did not make <clears throat> uh, the original albums, plus guest performances of other artists, Bob Dylan, Carter Family, so on. And then Johnny Cash with his Hot Blue Guitar, which is a 28 song collection of non, this is important, of single and non-single classics released during his Sun Record years, Sun Records years from 54 to 58. That, that collection of single and non-single classics is important um, because it's not everything but we'll get to that once we dig into this collection so let's 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 dive in so we open the box up I'll take you on another tour <clears throat> they are they begin chronologically with the first album here and what I appreciate is that each disc is numbered um, so it's great for storage. It's great for figuring out, you know, where you where you were, what you're on. So just go through these really quick. The Elvis box set that came out that I've done a video review for is the same. They're they're all numbered and uh, just really well done. Whoop. And there's our singles plus the hot blue guitar, and here's our book. So let's. Let's set, set the camera back down. First, I'll show this book. So you get this very lengthy book full of, back that up a little bit, full of pictures, some essays, good paper quality. You know, I guess we'd call this archival quality paper. Um, we won't go through this whole thing, but worth noting that we start off with a 35 page, I mean, that includes pictures, but 35 page essay from Rich Kienzel, 
um, about the importance of Johnny Cash, his discography. And then what we're going to do here is it immediately goes into the discography. Chronologically, of course, we have the original album cover. We have the uh, track listing with the pertinent information, such as what date that track was recorded, where it was recorded, um, the personnel. So these are things that were not necessarily advertised back then. Uh, and then from there, it's just album by album. And then, you know, we'll come back to this in a minute. So digging in here, let's start with number one, the fabulous Johnny Cash. What I like about these box sets that they keep putting out are the uh, mini LP replica sleeves. These look exactly like the record did. We've got the the Columbia logo in the corner, all the, the numbering. If you even look, you can see the, the catalog information. Turn it over. Again, it's exactly like the record was when it first came out. And we've got liner notes. My big criticism of this, and it's not much of a criticism, is that because they've shrunk down these for CD size, some of this text can be a little difficult to read. Um, I believe the Bob Dylan box set that's come out that has all of his albums on it uh, recreates the liner notes in the booklet kind of blown up so you don't have to strain your eyes. But, you know, I guess you could just get a magnifying glass out. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, so each CD, you know, you got, you got the CD in there. And uh, I'll put that to the side. Second disc, Hymns by Johnny Cash. I should mention, uh, this was the first album. This was his debut, The Fabulous Johnny Cash. This is not his Sun Records work. This is his major label, Columbia debut, because this album only collects the things that Columbia uh, has the rights to. Hymns by Johnny Cash. And this is more of his uh, gospel work, again, with the liner notes. I'll just speed up so that we can get through this without it being too long. Johnny Cash, Songs of Our Soil. Johnny Cash, no, there was a song, Country Memories from the Past. Yeah, these red labels are, uh, oh, also we should point out, um, the disc itself is also numbered. Johnny Cash, Ride This Train, uh, starring Travelogue of America in Song and Story. Johnny Cash, Hymns from the Heart, more hymns. The Sound of Johnny Cash, this is a good one. The, actually, this is one of my favorites. Uh, it's got Lost in the Desert, Accidentally on Purpose, In the Jailhouse Now. I'm not going to read all of these, but those are some of my favorites. Um, it also has the original version of Delia's Gone. Not the one that he did later with Rick Rubin in the 90s, but the original. I mean, it, it's amazing how a song about murder can sound so jaunty and happy. Blood, Sweat, and Tears, featuring the legend of John Henry's Hammer. This was, uh, you know, back in the day, they do a lot of theme albums. So you'd have like a Native American themed album, and you'd have a working man themed album, or you'd have an American themed album. Ring of Fire, the best of Johnny Cash. The Christmas Spirit, Johnny Cash. Keep on the Sunny Side, the Carter Family, with special guest Johnny Cash. This is important because this is uh, a Carter Family record, not a Johnny Cash record. And um, he was kind of a guest on the album. Johnny Cash, I Walk the Line. This is great. I actually have this one on vinyl, and I had the vinyl before I... Uh, Got this set. Got I Walk the Line on it. Folsom Prison Blues. Hey Porter. Now, again, these are definitely re recordings of some of these songs. Actually, maybe all of them. But um, I don't know. You have the originals elsewhere in this collection. So it's nice to have multiple versions of his, his interpretations of those songs as he went on through time. Johnny Cash, Bitter Tears. Ballad. Ballads of the American Indian. This is what I was talking about with. Um, like theme albums where you'd focus on a particular subject. Johnny Cash, Orange Blossom Special, another one of my favorites. It's got a cover of It Ain't Me, Babe from Bob Dylan. That's just, I don't know, it's really good. Orange Blossom Special, which is a great song. Another Bob Dylan cover, Don't Think Twice, It's All Right. I actually really like, you know, with Bob Dylan covers, you have to be careful because um, 
I don't know. I mean, you, you don't want to mess mess up the words or anything, but you also want to be true to the spirit of the song. But I really like what Johnny Cash brings to these Bob Dylan songs. Mama, You've Been On My Mind, another Bob Dylan song that he never really officially put out on an album. Um, there's George Harrison, I think it was his favorite song. Uh, George Harrison, George Harrison's favorite song of Bob Dylan. Uh, just, a, just a really great one. Johnny Cash sings the ballads of the true West. Now, this is awesome because this is a recreation of the gatefold. Um, and so the album would have had a gatefold just like this. And within it, you know, there's your CD. I, I appreciate a little attention to detail like that. Johnny Cash, everybody loves a nut. The one on the right is the one on the left. I'm sorry, the one on the right is on the left. I know this is some people's favorite. It's got dirty old that's egg sucking dog on it. Red River Valley. Happiness is you. Here he is with June Carter. Long legged long legged guitar picking man. From Sea to Shining Sea. A lot of patriotic songs. Johnny Cash at Folsom Prison. Now this, you want to talk about classic. This may be his most recognizable album. This may be the one that people want the most. And for good reason. It's a near perfect recreation of the original, the original album. Flip it over. You got the handwritten, handwritten notes. From Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash, The Holy Land. This is one that I just haven't listened to. Um, it's a concept album uh, that, I don't know, I mean, it's got Daddy Sang Bass on it. It's got some reason to listen to it outside of a religious context and there's nothing wrong with it I just I just haven't listened to it because it I know it's like a it's kind of developed to be like a little mini movie in audio form and uh, I just haven't got there with it yet Johnny Cash at San Quentin writing the success of Folsom Prison his second prison album San Quentin got a boy named Sue on here got uh, Wreck of the Old 97 which I love Folsom Prison Blues, of course. No gatefold on this one. It's just the traditional album sleeve. But this, hello, I'm Johnny Cash. This has your gatefold. I will mention uh, some of these albums, some of these CDs that I got. Uh, what I do when I, so when I get an album or a, a box set like this, the first thing I do is I go through and individually rip each CD to my computer so that I have an MP3 backup, which is which is right here. I, I've backed up everything that's in this set on this disc just for safekeeping. And as I was doing that, I noticed a lot of these albums, uh, probably upwards of a quarter of them, maybe even a third, had like... Uh, so on the back end back here on the disc it would have like yeah here we go this has it too it still has it it's um glue residue uh from from the box and it comes off pretty easily but you know i thought i got it all too and i think it's coming from inside this package i think that it's glue from this from this perforation right here this uh this overlap i think they glued it and I think a little bit of that glue ran over and got on the disc. It caused no problems. I didn't have any read errors with any of the disc, but if you're meticulous, you know, which you might be if you're looking for a box set like this, it is something to just be aware of. You want to check your discs if you buy this box set and just make sure that everything's in, in good working order. And again, you know, a, uh, a lint-free cloth got it right off. Johnny Cash Show, uh, this is... His live album from the Grand Ole Opry when he was uh, when he had a television show. 
soundtrack to I Walk the Line, which I've never seen. I need to do something about that. Gregory Peck. However, I have seen this. Little False and Big Halsey. This is a fantastic movie that's just been put back in print again. Uh, I would recommend you check it out if you haven't seen it. Back in print. Johnny Cash, Man in Black. Uh, we are 28, so we're almost halfway done. We'll speed up here. Uh, a Thing Called Love. Johnny Cash, America. Christmas by the Johnny Cash family. Um, this is his second Christmas album, Another Gatefold, and there is the aforementioned Johnny Cash family. Any old wind that blows, as if I had a hammer on it. How's that for classic right there? Johnny Cash, The Gospel Road. Uh, here's another one, haven't touched. Complete soundtrack from the movie. Um, look at this side one it's just individual like dozens of tracks it was a double LP when it came out Johnny Cash and his woman Pa Osteraker I'm not sure I'm saying that right this is a live album from yeah, I don't even know classic album cover Ragged Old Flag. Johnny Cash, The Junkie and The Juice Head Minus Me. Now we're getting into an area of lesser known material. Um, I feel like these albums, the, we're, these, these are the things that were created just for this set, that were never on CD because they frankly did not have support for a CD. Uh, the audience just isn't there for some of these things. The, the Johnny Cash children's album. Um, certainly valuable for a Johnny Cash fan, but I don't know what the market would be for a Johnny Cash children's album as an individual release today. And these are all very kid-friendly songs. Actually, you know, it's awesome. It's, it's just awesome. Johnny Cash sings Precious Memories. John R. Cash. If you know anything about Johnny Cash, you know what John R. Cash means. It's sort of an alter ego for him. Look at them beans. Here we have a sun and a hill of green beans. Strawberry cake. This is live. Uh, let's see, recorded live at the Palladium, London, England. This is this is good stuff. Now, <laughs> how about? How about that? Just sitting in bushes, eating cake. One piece at a time. And this is Johnny Cash and the Tennessee Three. His longtime band, One Piece at a Time. Classic song, famous song. The Last Gunfighter Ballad. The Rambler. I Would Like to See You Again. Gone Girl. And we're getting into things that before I bought this box set, I had never even seen. Silver. And you have to give them credit for recreating the album cover exactly. Rockabilly Blues. Now this is when he's starting to get back. Early 80s, I believe. Starting to get back in touch. Let's see what we got here. 1980? Is that what that says? Yeah. So he's starting to get back in touch with his roots. Third Christmas album. Classic Christmas. Um, I believe these are all religious songs. The Baron. Great cover. The Survivors. Here we go. Now, this is the ultimate nostalgia trip for people who like rockabilly. This was recorded live in Stuttgart, West Germany. Uh, this was, I know, I think I had a bootleg of this before I actually got this collection. I believe it was a bootleg. I don't think it was official. 
And it's Johnny Cash, Jerry Lee Lewis, and Carl Perkins. That's three Sun Records guys. And they're just uh, jamming to their hits, having a good time. You got Perkins doing Matchbox. They do I'll Fly Away. A whole lot of shaking going on. Blue Suede Shoes, uh, which was you know Carl Perkins' song before Elvis took it to the top of the charts. Great, great stuff. Johnny Cash. Let's see, The Adventures of Johnny Cash. Johnny 99. Now we're nearing the end of his Columbia output. These albums did not perform exceptionally well for him on the charts. Uh, we have Johnny Cash in Prague live. Yeah, his live stuff is always good. And Rainbow. Now, this is his final uh, official Columbia record, I believe, before he was released. Which is a shame. Uh, it's just terrible. Let's see what this is. This is disc... Yeah, okay, so this is disc 57. So let's come back to this. So, so Rainbow grossly underperformed after several other albums that had grossly underperformed. And Columbia, after, what, 1958 to 1988? What is this? 80, 85. Uh, they let him go. All these albums, over 50 albums that he'd been with the company, and they let him go. After a TV series, a successful TV series, Columbia Records let him go. So what we have after that, we have The Highwaymen, which was Waylon Jennings, Willie Nelson, Johnny Cash, and Chris Christopherson. I mean, this is fantastic. Their song, The Highwaymen, is uh, one of the greatest hits for all of those guys. And if you have the compilations or the greatest hits packages for each one of those guys, it's on all of theirs. Um, so this is great to have. I believe this was out of print for a while. This collection brought it back. We have Johnny Cash and Waylon Jennings, Heroes. We have Highwaymen 2, which was the second album, uh, the second and last album from the Highwaymen. And uh, it was during this time that Johnny Cash got signed to Mercury and put out three albums, no, four. There were four albums for the Mercury years. Uh, but then, so in 20, let's see, when was this? You know what? Let's consult our guide. Madison Square Garden, it was recorded in 1969 and it was released in 2002. So clearly this was Johnny Cash's final days. He died in 2003, I believe. And then we round out with Johnny Cash with his hot blue guitar. And this is the Sun Records material, um, or some of the Sun Records material. While we only have a handful of tracks here, the actual CD, because this was a Sun, this was Sun Records, uh, the actual track, or the actual, yeah, the actual tracks are as follows. You have most of those early Sun singles right here, or, you know, the ones that most people are going to be looking for. Uh, there's actually 28 tracks on this disc. However, it's not everything. So if you wanted everything, um, the best thing to do would be to track down one of the Johnny Cash Sun Records compilations that have, uh, I know there's one from I believe it's from the UK and it has everything plus uh, unused um, tracks demos takes that didn't make it to the final cut so it's out there it's just not in this set this is Johnny Cash singles plus these are the tracks that are on here this is gonna be your oddities your rarities uh, things that just didn't fit in other places things that weren't on albums things that were singles or cover versions or duets with people on other projects you have one one cd in there and one cd in there okay so that's where this collection ends but it's not where johnny cash's career ended uh after he was released from uh columbia following rainbow 
uh, he went to Mercury. And at Mercury, he recorded four albums, I believe. We had Johnny Cash is coming to town in 1987. Uh, in 1988, there was Classic Cash, the Hall of Fame series, where he basically re-recorded a lot of his hits with late 80s production. So that's going to appeal, you know, probably not appeal to everybody, but if you're looking for his complete discography, it's critical. Uh, 1990, Boom Chicka Boom. And uh, in 1991, I believe, was The Mystery of Life. And... Most of those are out of print and not available, which you have to wonder why Mercury is sitting on Johnny Cash albums that are not available when everybody loves Johnny Cash now. They did re-release a double album of Johnny Cash is Coming to Town and uh, Boom Chicka Boom. I think it was in 2003, and uh, it's both albums on one CD. And then, of course, after that was the the American series, the American recordings that he did with Rick Rubin that completely rejuvenated his career. That's why we have Johnny Cash songs and movies by Quentin Tarantino and why he's uh, considered like a rockabilly rebel now, or like a, a godfather of punk. Um, that Those six albums, there was America, uh, American Recordings in 94, America 2, American... Uh, um, American 2, Unchained in 96. Uh, 2000, there was American 3, Solitary Man. American 4, The Man Comes Around, came out in 2002. And then posthumously, we got America 5, 100 Highways in 2006. We got American 6, Ain't No Grave in 2010. And then Back to Columbia is uh, Out Among the Stars, which came out in 2014. It was something that Johnny Cash's son had found in the vault and it's tracks that he was working on in the mid 80s but that were never put out on an album uh, and it was released posthumously of course in 2014 but it was it was after this set so it's not here because this set came out before that album was released but if you're trying to track down everything the guy did uh, you have to have that one and it's actually pretty good okay so Ultimately, tracking down a complete Johnny Cash discography can be challenging, to say the least. Especially since some of this stuff is out of print, and there's some stuff that's just not readily available at all. Uh, just so niche that it's near impossible to find. But this box set is fantastic. Uh, Columbia, because they had his output for most of his career, it's almost one-stop shop. And the stuff that came out in the late 80s and the early 90s for Mercury. It's good because it's Johnny Cash, but it is not his strongest material. Uh, it's right before he rediscovered um, with Rick Rubin, just that basic dark one man and his guitar sound. Um, but, you know, I'm not knocking it because it's important and um, fans are going to want to have it. I want to have it. You know, I'm glad that I have what I have. Uh, but as far as this, it, it, I'm, I'm so happy with this collection. They could have, you know, so many of these CDs are like 25 minutes long or 30 minutes long. And they could have put two, in some cases, even three albums in one on one disc. But they didn't do that. They chose to recreate the original albums. Uh with the art on the back, or the art on the front and the, the liner notes on the back, so that each album is, you know, a pure representation of, of the album as it existed when it came out. And I, I really appreciate that. I think that's very well done. They didn't take the cheap way out. Uh, subsequently, because of that, this collection is not cheap. It's, um, it fluctuates in price, but you're going to pay between $200 and $300 on the actual Johnny Cash website, currently it's $350. I would not advise you to pay that. Uh, Amazon tends to run it in, uh, at, at about $215, between $250. Again, it fluctuates. So I just say that to say uh, you don't have to pay $350 for this. If you watch and you wait and you search, 
you can definitely find a good price on it and I think it's worth it. So I guess that's it guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, long live Johnny Cash.